everybody, this is Roger in Kansas City, and today we are looking at Mount Kailash. It's in southwestern Tibet. I will have information about it on the title page. Mount Kailash is very famous, I come to find out. It's a sacred mountain to a number of religions, most notably the Hindus, Buddhists, the people who practice Jainism, and the Bon, B-O-N, religion, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. The Bon is a pre-Buddhist religion. Anyway, the Hindus believe that the God of Gods, Lord Shiva, lives here on or within the mountain. The Buddhists call this the navel of the universe. This is the intersection between heaven and earth. We're going to take a closer look at a southern area next to the mountain right here. It's an incredible area. I would encourage anybody just to look this up on YouTube. There's, there are numerous videos about this area. Let's go to the first actual photograph of this. I was lucky enough to find this really awesome panoramic view of the area. This is the spot we were just looking at on Google Earth. As you can see, Google Earth distorts considerably. I can enlarge this a little bit. And this picture, even though it is a great view of the area, and it's been scrubbed out a little bit and I have more detailed views of this area but this is what we're going to look at here a little over in here and here just for this video you could probably make 10,000 videos of this area it's incredible if you watch my videos um, I, I try to to keep them interesting and varied um, this to me personally tops everything and anything I've ever seen there is something going on here it has been going on here for a very long time probably predates humans by hundreds of thousands of if not millions of years there this is an active area and I can totally believe religions are based on what's going on here because I'm about ready to convert after seeing what I have seen. Let's go to our first enhancement of this area. This first enhancement we're looking at is a different photograph than the one we were just looking at. This has better detail and more contrast. Uh, you can see it has snow cover on it. But you can tell just by looking from far away, this is just not some geological formation throughout here. This is beginning to look like something that's been intelligently designed. Let's take a closer look. This is the first enhancement I made of the area and really all I did was make it larger and I adjusted the lighting to bring out detail. You can see there's massive monumental carvings. When I say monumental, according to Google Earth, this is somewhere between 200 and 250 feet high. A person, a human being, would be a speck, a, just a tiny speck, like the, the very end of my arrow down there. You, you, I, d I doubt you could see a person in this picture. They'd be so small. So let's go to the next enhancement. This next enhancement is a little larger and brighter and a a little more focused than what we just looked at. Again, we have these huge carvings. This looks like a, a male and female figure for sure. We have, uh, you can see what appear to be figures kind of at a, an angle, like they're monkeying around or something. This figure wearing a tall hat, having a discussion with this taller person over here, um, holding their hand up right there. Numerous carvings 
all along the bottom around here which is probably in the 30 to 50 foot range it's uh it's just spectacular and I'm going to do more work on this but I thought it was important to get out uh, in front of this with an initial video I, I think a lot of people are going to start looking at this let's take a look at another 